Realty experts were speculating whether the finance ministry would bring in cheer for both home buyers and developers. And well, guess what? The sector has much to cheer about. Not only did Mr. Arun Jaitley remove the last significant tax hurdle in the way of Real Estate Investment Trust, REIT, he has also given incentives to first-time home buyers and tried to make affordable housing more viable. Just after the big announcement, Business Insider caught up with Mr. Anshuman Magazine, Chairman and Managing Director C.B. Richard Ellis of South Asia Region to understand what are the industry sentiments after hearing the budget. Here's what he told us. I would say it was a good budget for a few reasons. Number one is uh, the, the announcement on REIT. Uh, I think that will be a game changer for real estate uh, industry in India. When the, the, the big hurdle for real estate investment trust was DDT. So he's removed that. Again, I have to read the fine print because there may be some limitations or things which gap, they didn't talk about it. Uh, but in case that is not there, uh, then this REIT, now finally the REITs may come into India. Uh, with the caveat that I don't know what's in the value bed. And if that does come in, it will be, like I mentioned, a game changer because it will really mobilize a huge amount of funding. The biggest challenge the real estate industry is facing right now is the shortage of liquidity. And the REIT structure is one of the structures that will mobilize sort of money in liquidity. First, rental housing. One of the things we don't talk about is that we always talk about there is shortage of housing. But the first thing that comes to mind is you have to buy real estate. But internationally, in mature markets, a lot of people rent uh, housing for quite some time, right? So in India, there is a huge number of housing which are lying vacant. Uh, hopefully, this will encourage people to rent, uh, which will A, utilize those properties, but also encourage people to invest in housing because then they know they can rent it. Uh, and, and, for, and and also uh, the shortage of housing, a lot of people who don't have housing, now because of the exemption will be able to rent and uh, it will be cheaper for them to rent. I think that's a big announcement. Uh, apprehension by people or uh, companies which are occupying IT companies etc. or BPOs who are occupying special economic zones that there may be a, uh, uh, there may be a sunset clause. And the rumor was it could be 2017, although there's nothing there. So they were quite uncomfortable because all the all the benefits would have gone if that was the case. Uh, what has been announced is 2020 by the budget. Although one school of thought is there should be no sunset clause at all, but at least it's 2020 and 2017. So relatively, at least uh, you know there is a more breathing space. There were another four five years uh, before uh, you know the exemption go. The the other one would be uh, you know investing in infrastructure, highways. The fact is, investment in infrastructure has direct impact on real estate. Uh, and, uh, and so, if all these highway projects, what they're talking about, if they are implemented timely, at least the funding is there, uh, will, will make a big difference to real estate. Manrega is another one, which I think is a fantastic scheme started uh, quite some time back. It has really made a difference to some of the states who are failing Manrega uh, funds. Uh, budget can only allocate. Of course, implementation is a big thing. So budget has done its job by allocating the highest funds from America. That again will have a big impact on infrastructure and real estate uh, time to so come in in case it's implemented. So all of this has been quite positive. Even if 50, 60 percent of what has been announced is implemented in a timely manner, there is no doubt I can't be able to But implementation is the key.